I'm seeing a lot more patients now who are going ahead and having an orchiectomy done, even if they are planning on doing full bottom surgery, let's say at a later time. There's a few different reasons for this. The most recent version of WPAT, the World Professional Association of Transgender Health, now talks about being on six months of hormones as opposed to be it being a year. Um, some patients will do it to get off blockers like spironolactone, which can cause dizziness and other side effects. Other patients will do it to get their hormones in check, or they may do it if they're just not ready for full bottom surgery at this time. A huge concern is, however, will orchiectomy interfere with vaginoplasty later on? The short answer is no, and let's get into why. So typically when we do orchiectomy for gender affirmation, we just make a little incision. It's usually about an inch, uh, a little bit more than that sometimes, just in the center of the scrotum, uh, at the area called the median raphae. And uh, there's dissolvable stitches go in there, the incision seals up and pretty much disappears. The concern is we used to make, we used to line the new vagina with the scrotal skin and in some techniques we certainly still do. And the concern would be that this skin would just kind of shrivel up and go away. That is not the case. If you look at most plastic surgery cases, tummy tucks, things like that, extra skin does not shrivel up on its own and go away. And I've never found it to be the case with bottom surgery. A previous orchiectomy will not interfere whatsoever. Besides that, there are new techniques now, such as the peritoneal vaginoplasty, in which we don't even use that skin. But overall, it's nothing to worry about.